We started our Relationship Built in Baker series with a closer look at the Stanton family. The pair of Schillinger boys came around about a decade later. Jason and Shan were influenced by their father Jim and Uncle Don. Jeff Roberts has the story. Montana is known as the Treasure State, and the Schillinger name is like gold. From Jim and Don to Jason Shan, the Schillinger family shaped many lives throughout Montana. Jim Stanton, of course, hired me in uh, 1982 here. They had an opening here, and he asked me if I was interested in going into uh, administration and being head football, and that's how we all got started. It started a 29-year stretch that helped earn Don a place in the Montana Coaches Hall of Fame. His 318 career wins, spanning over 37 years, is second all-time in the state. I think he took so many average players and just made them really good players that maybe weren't they weren't great football players, but it was about the team. And I think those guys were so inspired to, to do well for the team. And I think that's what the foundation happened for many years in Baker, you know. The football gene in Jim and Don Schillinger was passed down to the next generation. After winning three titles in Baker in the early 2000s, Shan Schillinger had a Hall of Fame career for the Montana Grizzlies. That led to a four-year stint in the NFL. Well, I think Shannon just got it from the beginning, and obviously he grew up, uh, you know, with a family that uh, that helped mold that thinking, and with an uncle and grandparents that helped mold that thinking. So he had all the foundation to do really well. You know, I remember all the brothers came out and watched me play. Uh, the Stanton brothers come watch play, and it just goes to show you there's many, many levels to this relationship, and um, it's obviously one that uh, means a lot to us. That relationship with the Stantons helped Shan land a role coaching the receivers at Dickinson State in 2013. Ten years later, he earned his first head coaching gig at the University of Mary. I, I think they also did very well there, seeing his background and his, and his character and his personality. They also had a great hire, and I hope that uh, he'll get a, a few years to be able to show what he can do. There's been no shortage of guidance for Shan. As a player at each level, to coaching in the Power Five, He's bringing every stop with him up to Bismarck. I've been around so many for great coaches, and wherever I've been, whoever I've worked for or played for, that's somewhere there at the top of the list of most wins, wherever they've been. So try to take a little bit from each of them, kind of put my own twist on it. Hopefully, with time, we can kind of see a good product that we want to put on the field. Well, Shan mentioned how big of a help Pete has been in his first head coaching position. Tune in tomorrow for the third and final part of the series where Jeff gives us a deeper look at the relationship between the, those two families. Well, Coach Stanton's Hawks host Waldorf this weekend, and they'll do it as the 18th ranked team in the NAI National Coaches Poll. DSU is 6-1 and one so far this season. Former Bobcats goaltender Hunter Shepard is scheduled to make his NHL debut tomorrow with Washington. After two seasons at Bismarck, Shepard won back-to-back -back national championships with Minnesota Duluth. Hunter has 54 wins and 91 um, minor league hockey games. And UND's split with the top-ranked Gophers pulled it up a spot in the coaches poll. Fighting Hawks number four host Minnesota State this week. All right, that's good. All right, we'll be right back after this.